Hey there everyone, Maria Marquis here. And in this video, we're gonna to put together some of the things we've just learned to supercharge that project tracker we've already built. So here I've got my project tracker. And the first thing I did was I added a column that helped me see the different projects that these are part of. I could then go over here and say, all right, let's go ahead and group this column. That feels really nice so we can see that nice division. The next thing I'm going to do to supercharge this tracker is add a couple of views so it's really easy to get the answers that I need. For example, my executive team wants to know what's urgent and I wanna know what are my tasks that I need to be concerned about. So I'll go over here to the side. We're gonna create a new page. We'll call this the urgent tasks. We'll then type slash table, ta-da! And instead of starting blank, we're gonna choose from our existing one right here. And then of course we'll name it urgent tasks. And then now we just add that filter, right? We choose filter, add a filter where urgent is checked. Boom, we've already got that there. We'll then go over here and say, this will be the my tasks. And again, I'm gonna go through that same view process of table. We won't start blank. We'll start with an existing table. We'll name it my tasks. And the filter we're going to apply here is going to be assigned to is equal to the current user. So now Dan, Rocky, and I will all see only our tasks here so that it's our one-stop shop for everything we're responsible for. And as we're supercharging this tracker, we could add views for anything. Views for tasks that are coming up this week, views for tasks that have the word draft in them. Whatever we need to know, we'll create a view for it. The next thing we wanna do to supercharge this tracker is add some linked relations and summaries. So we've already got over here, a grouping for each of our projects. And right now there's only four or three tasks for each of these, which is quite manageable. But if this were a real project, we could imagine 10 tasks, 20 tasks, 100 tasks for each of these projects, which means that grouping might not be the best fit. So what we'll do is we'll just grab this little guy up here and we're gonna make a summary table to help us see exactly how each of these projects is doing. We'll go to our column options and convert it to a table I'll say below the current table, that feels fine. And then I can go down here and just drag this up to the top. And now I can add that handy little linked relation. Right here, we'll choose our tasks. We can now see all of the little ones here. And we can allow edits from this place as well as adjust those option settings. And also even add related columns as far as the status or the start, anything we want to pull on. Now, what I really like is I can then calculate off of that linked relation. So I could say total tasks, and then I could just say equals, look at the our tasks column, and then just count it. I could then decide, yeah, I wanna hide that our tasks because it's really just helping me calculate here. And I can see the total. I could then say, all right, let's go ahead and say, what are the completed tasks? And I'm gonna say equals, hey Coda, I want you to look at that R tasks table, or actually even the, the rows, that would be fine. Um, oh no, actually I wanna do the, the tasks table because I wanna do some filtering here. So I'm gonna say, look at the all tasks table, then we're gonna filter where that status is equal to done, and the project is equal to the one in this row. And then we're gonna count it. So now I can see how are we doing as far as our completion versus our total. And we could even add a little progress bar here too. So maybe I wanna do a uh, progress bar column type. There we go. And I'm gonna add a little formula on this little one. So we'll say, let's go to our column options. We're gonna fill those values with a calculation. And we're going to calculate with a custom formula. And I'm gonna say, look at those completed tasks divided by those total tasks and press enter. Then under our settings, we could say the maximum is 100. So let's actually go back to our calculation and I'm gonna put this into little parentheses. Doop. And we're gonna just multiply by 100. So now I can see how we're doing there. So now I've taken this project tracker, which was just some tasks and our status created views to help me see the answers to the most commonly asked questions, like what's urgent? Ah, what do I need to do? And then I've also used this summary table to give me a bit of a dashboard to see how we're doing. So now it's your turn. Take a look at some project trackers and see where you might be able to add some bells and whistles to help you and your team stay on task and have fun while doing it. 
All right, I'll see you next time.